Alright, Obobors. Welcome to episode 2 of Firewall Plays Street Fighter V. Um, in this episode, we'll be picking up from where we left off last time, which um, may seem like I was just getting into the trials, but in fact, I had actually completed all of Ryu's trials for episode 1. Um, I just forgot to actually record my voice. Um, not that I was saying anything interesting, but uh, I um, felt inclined to redo the trials. Sorry, not survival. Um, redo all of his trials, um, you know, just so that I can get it for uh, for the channel. So, we're going to run through them. Um, hopefully they don't, they don't take too long. And in the meantime, um, I'm going to be explaining my uh, stick setup. I'll take a picture of my stick and um, maybe post a link to it um, for those that care. Uh, it is a Quanba Q2 black and white, which is a um, Arcade Shock exclusive, actually. Um, I picked it up used from uh, one of my friends on the uh, Reload, Reload Online IRC. Um, he got it to me for a super good deal. I want to say it was something around like $120 shipped from Canada, no less. Um, so I got a pretty pretty damn good deal on it, considering it was like $170 new, uh, not including shipping. So um, huge thanks to him um, for hooking me up with that. I'd been using it up until just a few weeks ago, just stock, um, or at least the uh, the PCB, the in insides were all stock. The buttons I'd modded out to a seamless silence that you can hear, um, compared to the um, non-silence, you can see there's quite a difference. Um, and then the uh, gate that I have on the Sono JLF is an octagon gate, so... Um, yeah. Uh, but yeah, so I had been using it for... Um, I want to say nearly a year. Nearly a year with just a stock PCB because um, I didn't have a need for the PS4 stick. Um, until Street Fighter V came out, and um, me going to NCR realizing that, hey, I don't have a PS4 stick, and I'm going to a tournament where th the game is being played on PS4. Um, so I went out uh, while I was at NCR, I picked up one of those Brooks fighting boards, which uh, um, Taya, at Taya DL on Twitter, um, ranked as uh, a, pr a pretty decent solution for um, a PCB replacement. I think the best one is still the um, what is that? The Hori Fight Commander doing a pad hack with that, um, but that just complicates things. You know, adding a pad and having a second wire or soldering, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I decided to pick up this solderless Brooks Fight Board, which works great. It's awesome. It's a it's a quad mod, so it does 360 PS3. Um, PC, um, but it also does Xbox One and PS4. Now I don't have an Xbox One, but the cool thing about that is this controller is now recognized on Windows 10 as an Xbox One controller. So all these, like, it's all just mapped by default. It's great. Um, I don't have to set it up at all. So if I hop onto somebody else's PC, no button config needed. I'll just fly through it if I need to change it. Um, and then on PS4, I haven't really tested it, but, um, you know, I'm sure it works just fine. So that's cool. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I, uh, right now I'm just running a um, USB cord off of that um, USB female type B port or whatever that is, the printer cable. Um, but I plan to get like a, a nice 10 foot cable or something and then uh, hard solder it in. Um, just so it's like a permanent thing. Crouching hard punch. Easy, easy trials. I mean, they kind of skipped all the um, all the junk ones that just had you do like this and this. Um, and like just do ultra that that you that took up like 
12 out of the 24 trials were just, maybe even more than that, were just like, okay, now do this. And I'm like, okay. I mean, I guess that's cool for somebody who doesn't know how to play the game, but they they incorporated all of like, you know, forward dash, back dash, chain, um, all that sort of stuff in the um, uh, in the tutorial and like the actual game's tutorial. Um, let's see if I can get this. Nice! First try. <clears throat> um, so yeah, I, th I think, I feel like this game was unfinished at launch, but that's okay because once, well, it, it's not okay, but then it is okay. I think it's okay because the way the game is structured, it's great for the people that haven't played a Street Fighter before, or have only played like, let's say Soul Calibur, or some, just like something not as they're new to the series basically if they're new to the series they can run through the tutorial and it'll teach them how to move back how to move forward how to block how to jump if you know how to play a street fighter game or any fighting game for that matter um you can just skip the tutorial or do it anyway um and then just go on straight to these top trials which um i mean they're they're all right um like this is a this game doesn't have very many tight links. Um, this is probably one of the tightest links in the game. Um, but uh, I think I think the trial mode is done very well in this game. I kind of wish for more trials, but the ones that are in here are pretty decent. So. Axe kick is this one. Whoops. You can, you can, <laughs> you, you might have noticed, um, I do, uh, I do switch sides. Um, that's because I find it easier to input on this side than the other. Um, and I know that's bad. Almost had that one. Walk forward. And that standing link, that this link isn't hard to do. Isn't hard to do outside, outside of like a combo, but doing it in this combo specifically for some reason is really throwing me off. Fuck. <laughs> so stupid. No! It's my hard punch. I know I have to walk forward on this one, just like slightly, but I keep doing V trigger too too soon. Or too late. <laughs> or too soon. <laughs> Not at all. Or right on time. And then I missed the rest of it. So yeah, um, Ken was the character that I originally picked up in this game just because, you know, whatever, he's a Shoto. Um, relatively easy to pick up and just like, you know, do moves with. Um, then after playing the game for a little bit, I really, really like Rashid. Um, Rashid was cool, but then after watching Rokal Regional's top eight and seeing Justin Wong's Karen, oh my god, that's the character I want to play. Um, seeing Mago, I mean, Jay Wong's current Karen was okay, um, but man, Mago's. Missed the last part again. I did that on the. I did that so many times on the, the original time I recorded this this trial run. Um, it's almost embarrassing. Fuck. 
know, I'm missing these trials, but to be honest, um, my execution now compared to, let's say, even a year ago, two years ago, um, is so much better. And it's it's a slow, it's been a really slow process because um, I haven't really been putting too much time into these fighting games. Um, but I can definitely tell can definitely tell that I am improving um, and that's like one of the best feelings ever is not being able to do a link and then like like this you know as impractical of a combo that as it may be it's still a link um, so with enough practice I should be able to get it down every single time not that I'm gonna be playing Ryu as a main or anything but So, execution, working on it. Um, the next thing I need to really work on is properly hit confirming. Um, hit confirming, and actually Karen is a really good character for that, because um, a lot of her moves, I mean, she, she has good normals. She reminds me a lot of Rose, um, in the sense that she has really good normals. Uh, she controls space really well and um, has decent frame, not, not frame traps, but like tick throw setups. Um, standing light kick, standing light kick, walk forward, grab. Um, standing light kick is an amazing normal. Standing medium kick is an amazing normal. And um, standing hard kick is an amazing normal for punishes. Um, and her V trigger is great too. Um, just overall a super cool character that um, I really, really hope to pick up in the future and um, maybe get better with. But yeah, I don't really know how long this episode was. Hopefully just about 10 minutes because, um, you know, that gives a good mix of me rambling on and uh, doing the combos. Um, but yeah, join me next time and maybe we'll run through Ken's or Cammy's or, I don't know, maybe I'll try somebody new like Vega, even though I hate Vega. We'll see. But yeah, thanks for watching, and uh, talk to you guys in the next video.